love to spend their house deposit on smashed avo for breakfast. Others like to start their day with Vegemite, yum. And others love to be a little bit controversial and eat mushy wheat bix huh? These are a few ways Aussies like to eat their brekkie. I'm sorry, but like, <laughs> this looks so sad. It's just like a miserable, like, I feel like there was no effort put into this. I feel like this is like a quick, like, wake up in the morning, give me some brekkie ASAP vibe. My smash shadow is the best because it is simple and doesn't have all these unnecessary ingredients. It starts off with a basic piece of toast, then a layer of Vegemite, a good amount of avocado, and then some salt and pepper on the top. It's just the beauty of avocado and toast. My smashed avo is the best because it's got bacon on it and who doesn't love bacon? So to make my smashed avo, we start with a creamy layer of avocado and then we add fresh ingredients along with bacon, sriracha sauce and some chili flakes and to top it off, coriander. I'm a cook, so I know how to put ingredients together and make it taste wow. My smashed avo is the best because there's unique ingredients. So first up, I smash my avocado with a bunch of different spices. For the toast, it's just crunchy dark rye bread with a layer of pesto, then grilled halloumi, then the smashed avocado on top, and then some cherry tomatoes. It's full of flavor, and I literally copied it from a bougie cafe. Mine's the best because it's all you need in a smashed avo. You just whack the avo on the toast, chuck a bit of salt, chuck a bit of pepper, put some seeds on, some lemon juice on top, sprinkle it with some chili flakes, and then you're done. That's the dish. <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, <laughs> this looks so sad. Um, so it's avocado on toast, like literally smashed avo. It's not offensive, it's not too fancy. Oh, is this Vegemite? I've heard this is good. Okay. This is everything you need. Mmm, Vegemite's not bad with it. I've never tried Vegemite with avocado on toast and now that I've had it once, I don't need to have it again. There's so much more you can do with avocado and I just feel like this is a weak attempt. Put more effort in. This gets a three out of 10. A two out of 10. A four out of 10. Oh my God, okay. This is something, this is like really extravagant. See, this has already bumped up a notch because this is getting into knife and fork territory. I can see avo, I can see tomato, I can see sauce on top, which I'm not sure what that is. Oh God, oh God. That's hot sauce. I have to like figure out where to bite in because I'm worried it's gonna fall apart. There's almost so much going on here flavor-wise <clears throat> that you can no longer taste the avo. Oh, the tolerance of chili here is like not at my level, um, but this is so crunchy and amazing. But then the chili is just too much for me. Like I feel like if you were gonna give this to someone, it's almost like rude. You can't go wrong with bacon. Like, bacon is just such a good, like, it makes anything better. Compared to the Avo and Vegemite, this is definitely a million percent wankier. An eight out of 10. This is about a six out of 10. I'm gonna give it a seven. It's good, but yeah, it's not perfect. Okay, wow. We're getting a little more involved here. Is this smashed avocado? Because it looks like sliced avocado. It's still kind of basic. I'm also noting that there's chili on this. Not a few, huge fan of seeds, like to like make something fancy or whatever, like. Mmm, mmm, mm. the bomb. Ooh, and it's got lemon in it. The bread is 
so good. Like, Avocado, I feel like, is kind of weak. It's not smashed properly. The pumpkin seeds on top, I feel like, are redundant. The texture doesn't add anything. It makes it very, like, a lot to chew. Oh. Not bad. I think I want to rank this one 6 out of 10. 5 out of 10? A 3. Ooh. This looks really yum. Look at that avo ratio. Spot on. Absolutely spot on. It's got some like dark toast. Which you know, the darker the bread, the higher quality. I think this one looks like it's probably the best one. Is it better than my Vegemite and avocado? Probably not. This looks so sad. What more effort There's so much more you can do with avocado. Mmm! Yeah, this is really solid. Like, I feel like halloumi is almost cheating because it's just such an amazing food. This is totally what I expect smashed avo to look like. Almost tastes a bit like a sausage though. It's again just like smancy. Smancy <laughs> smashed avo. This one is a 5.8. I think it's a nine and a half. I think it is, yeah. It's really good. A nine out of 10. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god! I knew it, I knew it. I honestly knew it. Like, yes. Well, I think these guys got it wrong. I think Australia knows that Avo and Vegemite is a killer combination. Well, obviously, people just don't understand a good smashed Avo when it's right in front of them. I really wanted to win. <laughs> So recently, Kylie Jenner posted on her Instagram her avocado toast recipe. But the thing was, she has honey with hers. I've never heard of being honey being used in Smash Avo, and I think that's, like, that doesn't really, I don't know, work with the senses, you know, the sort of taste balance. And as you know, Australians are the world leaders in Smash Avo, so it's my sort of duty today to figure out if her recipe is actually any good. This is the latest in the Kardashians' weird food creations. Appreciate the Kardashians, they're great people, just in terms of their food creations. So her recipe is pretty straightforward. It's avocados, sourdough bread, salt, chili flakes or red pepper, and honey. All right, let's get started. I mean, everyone's got their own way how they do the avocado. This is me. Yummy. Looking at her Instagram story and the photo, it doesn't actually show you how much proportions to put of everything. So I'm just gonna sort of use the image. I'm gonna put the image here. And I'm gonna just like imagine or try and figure out the proportions. First of all, let's go with the chili flakes. So I'm gonna do an amount that I think is, that's pretty good. Let's go to sea salt. A few things of that. Lastly, the honey. It looks quite like liquidy and honey. -y. So I feel like there's quite a few scoops of honey in this. Um, all right, so it's just, that literally looks foul. So you can see the sort of texture and it's very sloppy. I feel like this is gonna be sickeningly sweet, which is kind of like an American way to do it, really. This is too liquidy for a smashed avo. Like, what I might do if this doesn't work, I'm gonna try maybe do it with the drizzle. Alrighty. Okay. Yeah, it's very sweet. It's like honey. So it's like tasting honey. Oof. It's, ooh, no. I don't know about this. I'm gonna try it once more. Normal smashed avo. Just a little bit of honey on top, like it's like oil or something. I think that might be the way to go. All right, this is attempt number two. A little bit of chili flakes. Well, a lot of chili flakes. I'm gonna do an amount that I think won't ruin it. Yeah, I think that's good. I think this is gonna be a little bit better at the very least. All right, I can taste avocado now. 
This tastes like how you think it would taste. This is like smashed avo with honey. That's what it tastes like. I don't, I'm sorry if I describe it poorly. It's gonna be a no for me, Kardashians. Personally, I think you could do way better stuff with it, like feta cheese or, you know, different sort of cheeses, tomato, vegemite, bacon, all sorts of stuff. I think honey, it doesn't, for me, it doesn't add a lot. Vegemite and cheese. It belongs in a sandwich. If you're gonna have Vegemite on toast, you just need to have Vegemite. Also margarine. What is that? My Vegemite toast is the best because the ratio is perfect and it's really simple. Mine's the best because the bread's good, you can taste the Vegemite and the Vegemite and the butter go together so well. They mix together and create this Oh, delicious flavor. The reason why my Vegemite on toast is the best is because I have a secret weapon, and that is cheese. Mine is the best because I like it the most. This is how I make my Vegemite toast. I get classic wholemeal bread, toast it till lightly toasted, generous serving of real butter, followed by a light spread of Vegemite. Cut into triangles, of course. I make my Vegemite toast with crispy golden sourdough, put a layer of butter and make sure it's melted, and then a good layer of Vegemite, so the Vegemite and the butter mix all together and it's the secret to my Vegemite on toast is I have it with a tea. So I start off with thick white bread, then I toast it to a sort of solid brown. Then I get some basic just block butter. Then I spread like a medium amount of butter and then I spread like a medium amount of Vegemite. And then I make my tea. The secret to my recipe is that I use seeded bread. Put it in the toaster till it's golden brown and then I slather it with low salt and low fat margarine, ensuring it is spread evenly across the surface. Then I carefully add a small amount of salty yeast extract and finally layer with traditional tasty cheese. Mmm. I was kind of a bit sad to use wholemeal bread because I know that it doesn't taste very good when you toast it. I think this is Sohan's Vegemite on toast because I think she would have the same approach to Vegemite as she does to chili. But then the chili is just too much for me. Which is, don't add much. So this one's actually cut, like they said to cut it. That's what they preferred. What are we, in primary school? And you know this one's gonna be like a solid safe try. Honestly, Vegemite on toast, just nothing like it. There's a lot of butter, like you can taste the butter. The ratio of Vegemite to butter is actually really good, so I am a fan of that. Like, it's this is like a butter on toast, you know? Like, I need more Vegemite. We'll give it to them. The triangle was nice. It aerodynamically fitted in my mouth a lot easier than a whole piece of toast. This Vegemite on toast gets a seven out of 10. I'm gonna give it a five. I'm gonna score this a four out of 10 because I liked less than half the things about it. I thought that the second one wanted the sourdough toasted too dark, which that's gonna like taste burnt. And with the Vegemite, it's gonna be too strong. For me, for this one, the thing that stood out was the amount of Vegemite, like a thick layer of Vegemite, so you can't see the toast is what they said. Um, so if you look at that, that is just intense. It looks like an abomination, if we're being honest. Like, this is the type of toast that an American would make and think that this is how you do Vegemite toast. I do like the fact that they've got sourdough. I feel like that's going to be the only redeeming factor here. Oh my God. No, that's too much Vegemite. <laughs> oh, I'm actually digging this. Kinda tastes like olives. That's how much there is. I don't think they've got the ratio right. 
and more butter to, you know, sort of soften that Vegemite. I actually hate it. I would never eat this. Um, like, that's sort of like an insane, like you're like kind of insane if you do that much. The person who requested me to make this definitely has good taste. Because we've melted the butter on, it actually went over really well and had like good lubrication. So yes, fan of the melted butter as well. The pros are that I'm into sourdough bread in general, but cons, too much Vegemite, soggy bread, not really a good flavor at all. I can't really rate this that high, like it's just not that good. So overall, I'd like to give this Vegemite on toast an eight out of 10. I, I have to give it a two, I think. I'm giving it a 1 out of 10. It's like a tragedy. I'm gonna eat more. This one's good. Yeah. Right, we need to get the tea. I don't know if we're in Australia or England. Making this was great, fine. This person asked me to toast the bread so dark. Using a block of butter is one of my pet hates because it's really hard to just get it even without like messing up the bread. The Vegemite, it's a good, it's a good layer of Vegemite. A good layer of butter, you know, the bread's inoffensive. So I'm actually excited to try this. I feel like I haven't really had Vegemite toast like this since I was a kid because I haven't eaten white bread since I was a kid. Mm, lovely. So you're supposed to drink the tea like, is that like a palate cleanser? This is good. This is the perfect amount of Vegemite in my opinion. Is this Ryan's one? Did Ryan want the, want the tea because he used to live in the UK? The main tea drinker in our office is Tom. So I think this is Tom's toast. It had potential. So for that, I'll give it a four out of 10. Overall, this one deserves a seven. I give this Vegemite on toast a 10 out of 10. Vegemite and cheese. It belongs in a sandwich. If you're gonna have Vegemite on toast, you just need to have Vegemite. Also margarine. What is that? I didn't have the, the sliced cheese, I just have uh, grated tasty cheese, so I just put that on. Making this pretty much triggered me because it's margarine. And margarine is the CEO of making toasted bread soggy. It just doesn't look like toast I would eat for breakfast. Let's give it a try. The flavors I'm getting are mainly toast and cheese with hints of salty. The bread's good, but they could have used um, more Vegemite, I reckon. But I don't mind it. Like, I really don't mind it. Like, it's kind of nice. Okay, I see what you did there with the seeded bread. So it's like, even though the bread is soggy because you put margarine, the seeds give the illusion that it's still crunchy. And the cheese actually goes really well with it. It's not bad, but I wouldn't eat it. It's too, it's too heavy for me um, with the cheese, but I do love cheese. So this was the one that kind of, I thought was gonna be the worst, but actually turned out to be the best. And the other ones were really bad. I definitely think I'm gonna win because these suck. It's gonna have to be a three out of 10. I think I'll give this one a seven. Like it's nice. An eight out of 10. I'm actually nervous. I like, know! <laughs> yeah, um, I've, got a little, I've got some butterflies. So the winner of the best Vegemite toast is Tom. What? <laughs> yeah, what? It no, it's true. It's true. I won. Thanks. No. I won, yeah. Which one? 
<laughs> yeah, which one's yours? So mine was the white bread with a tea. Ah, uh, yeah, what? the tea. The tea oh, was ridiculous. Where are you from? Right? Australia or England? Yeah, I was like, this is English. This isn't even Australian. Zim, so you gave me 10. That's because you had a very good Vegemite ratio. Yeah, okay, the nothing rest to do with the you tea. Grow up, honestly. Why are all these people eating wheat bix with warm milk? That is just not anything I've ever heard of. Oh God, it's so soggy. <laughs> Today we are trying each other's Wheat Bix. My relationship with Wheat Bix goes back to my childhood. It was just a super simple breakfast for my parents to get on the table to get some food into us. What's that slogan? Like, how many bricks do you do with the cricketers? Nostalgia. It's great. Now, I know what you're thinking. I don't quite sound Australian. That's because I'm not. I'm from the UK and we call it Wheat Abix there. But I've been here for 10 years, over 10 years, and I'm a true blue wannabe. Growing up in frosty old England, I always have to have my wheat picks hot. Like it just has to be. I can't even imagine it being cold. I don't want it to be overly sweet. I know like wheat picks is quite plain, but I kind of like things to be kind of plain in the morning and don't get that sugar rush. It needs to be jazzed up. I'm thinking honey, sugar. I don't see any of this wheat picks with sugar like I'm in primary school. Maybe some fruit. I don't know, it surprised me. Wheat Bix should be enjoyed in the form that it was created, which is crunchy and not mushy. I wanna see Wheat Bix that's more refined, more for the adult palate, more that makes you realize, geez, this person has a hold on life. The way I like to enjoy my Wheat Bix is super simple. I just like to have two Wheat Bix in a bowl, a drizzle of honey, cold, cold milk. You've got to always have cold milk with your cereal. And then I'll eat it as quickly as possible before it gets mushy. Okay, this is so wrong. This is so wrong. The milk is cold, which is to my preference. Oh God, am I gonna drop that? <gasps> I feel like this is gonna take me back to memory lane. I'm supposed to eat this quickly while it's still hard with cold milk and honey. Here we go. Yeah, love that Wheat Bix crunch. I'm pleasantly surprised. Absolutely gross, I'm sorry. They did Wheat Bix a good way. Half crunchy, half soggy, cold milk. Yeah, I'm digging it. Why are you doing this to yourself? Wheat Bix can be so good, such a delicious breakfast. And what, what have you done? So this bowl gets an eight out of 10. I deducted points because I dropped milk on my floor. I'm gonna say that this is a nine out of 10. Pretty good in my books. I am such a Wheat Bix lover. And when you destroy it, I just can't forgive you. So I'm gonna give you one. <laughs> really sorry, I'm really sorry. But not really, it sucks. The way I make my Wheat Bix now, especially since it's cold in the morning, get my milk, put it in the bowl, microwave it for around like 50 seconds so it's nice and warm. Put in your bricks, add like a little sprinkle of sugar, kind of like mush it around so it's like a porridge-like consistency. Eat it, you're done. Have it with a cup of tea, best thing ever. This is breaking my heart. I'm mushing up the Wheat Bix. This person transforms their Wheat Bix into porridge. So it's almost like upgrading the food or hacking it in a way. This is a crime against humanity. This is actually how I used to eat my Wheat Bix as a child. It literally was warm milk and sugar. So I'm, I'm hoping this takes me right back. Looks like something a child refused to eat. This is getting into a good mushy consistency, as you can see, it's starting to look a, a bit like porridge. If you wanted porridge, maybe just go get oats. Mm. That is taking me right back. I can't get it out of my mind that it literally looks and tastes like a child's neglected bowl of wheat bix. I feel like I'm that meme of that woman who drinks a kombucha, I'm like, hmm, yeah, oh no, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give this one a three out of 10. This for me has to be an eight and a half out of 10, purely based on nostalgic factor. My ranking for this Wee Bix is seven and a half out of 10. Gets a few extra points for creativity, but losing a few for adding sugar. This is how I make my Wee Bix. You add bricks to the bowl, you're gonna add some banana, honey, some cinnamon, fill the milk up a quarter of the way so that it's soggy on the bottom and crunchy on top. Feel like that's a nice, sweet way to enjoy your morning breakfast. Everything in this bowl I love, 
but I feel like if you're gonna put this much effort into a bowl of wheat bix then like who are you fool? Who are you trying to fool? I don't know why I'm getting so aggressive about it. I'm sure it's delicious. Not sure what to think about this one at this stage because it's also got cold milk, which is probably quite a little bit unacceptable. I'm excited but hesitant because I don't really have fruit in my cereal. Banana, cinnamon, and honey. Here we go. Hmm. I actually really like this one too. You know what? That's not that bad. And it's cold and I never ever thought I would say that. This is actually really good. I feel like someone's trying to jazz it up a bit, using the right components to do so. It feels like wheat bix but just like a bit leveled up, a bit like fancy, a bit more adult I should be saying. So I'm gonna have to give this bowl of wheat bix an 8 out of 10. I rate this bowl a 9 out of 10. I think it's my favourite so far. A five or a six, a five. If I had hot milk, you would have got a clear eight and a half. Okay, so here's how I make my Weetabix. I grab two bricks, I add some warm milk, some sliced banana on the top, sprinkle a couple of blueberries on there, crush up a few walnuts, mush it all together, let it sit for a bit, let it soak in, let it sog. Mmm, warm and fuzzy inside. So this is another mushy one. Why are all these people eating wheat bix with warm milk? That is just not anything I've ever heard of. It's very pretty. It's got warm milk, which I like, but then warm milk and fruit? I don't know. The milk is turning purple. Violet, you're turning violet, violet. I definitely imagine I would see this on like an Instagrammer's page. They didn't add a sweetener in and I feel like Maybe that's okay, because the fruit is naturally quite sweet, so I'll get the sugar from that. Oh god, it's so soggy. <laughs> Did I leave it for too long, or is it the... Okay, it's fine. Let's give it a try. Mm. It could have its own reality TV show, because it's beautiful, but has no substance. You can't really taste that much. Like, if it had a bit of honey in here, that would have been, like, the final perfect touch, I feel. You're eating something savoury with banana on. I, I don't know. It just doesn't work for my palate. I'm so sorry to whoever loves this. Like, I love you all the same. But I rate this a 4 out of 10. I think I'm going to have to give it, like, a 4 out of 10. Just because it tried so hard. It tried so hard. It just didn't get there, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to give this bowl of Wheat Bix a five out of 10. You nailed the looks department, but unfortunately the taste department, which is more important, failed. Also, I just have to say warm milk, like, no. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey guys. Hey, how's it going guys? So all of you guys with your cold Weetabix, you weirdos. I bet you're dying to know who won. Yes, drum roll please. I won, guys. Oh my God, thank you. That makes sense. That was like a better version of my one.